let's go on to some easy addition problems. This is very easy, 8 tenths and 1 tenth. It will be 9 tenths. I will also write it using fractions, 8 tenths plus 1 tenth equals 9 tenths. Now here though, I will tell you beforehand that many students mistakenly write the answer to this as 0 0.12. Okay, I'll put it here. They basically add 8 and 4 equals 12 and think that those are like numbers that live on the other side of the decimal point and that then you put just on the other side of the decimal point you write 12. But that's not the right answer at all, okay? Let's write these as fractions, 8 tenths plus 4 tenths. And you should get 12 tenths as an answer, right? But of those, 10 tenths makes 1. So we actually get 1 and then 2 tenths. So it's a decimal, 1.2. There. You can basically add 8 plus 4 equals 12, but then you need to think of it having one whole here and two tenths, or maybe you can think of the decimal point. You have to have tenths and tenths, so you get tenths in your answer too, not two decimals like here. And we will practice that some more here, jumping on the number line. Okay, what is it, Matthew? Oh, you want to jump on the number line? Well, honey, you see, if I put you somewhere, we can't even tell where you are at exactly. You're way too big for this number line, Matthew. It won't work. I, we just have to use my finger. Like that, okay? You are at 0 0.6. 6 tenths. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Right there. And then you jump 5 tenths to the right. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Where do I end up? Can you see? I end up at 1 and 1 tenth. And we can write an addition out of this jumping. You start at 0 0.6, and then you add 5 tenths. Then you end up at 1 and 1 tenth. There. Notice again that the answer is not 0 0.11. You add 1.2, 1 and 2 tenths, and then you jump 7 tenths to the left. Now that's going to be a subtraction, because we start here at 1 and 2 tenths, and we jump 7 tenths to the left. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, over here. And that is now 5 tenths, right? So we get the subtraction 1.2 minus 7 tenths equals 5 tenths. Okay, some more. 9 tenths plus 4 tenths. Can you tell how much that will be? Hint, it's not going to be 0 0.13. It's going to be 1 and 3 tenths. Here's 1 and 2 tenths plus 5 tenths. That's very easy. It's going to be 1 and 7 tenths. 2 and 7 tenths plus 7 tenths more. Can you figure that one out? It's going to be more than 3 now. Because of these tenths that we have, 3 tenths would go to fill this one. So we get 3 as a whole number and then we will have 4 left over. This is now going to be more than 3. Can you tell? we will get 3.4, or 3 and 4 tenths. You can basically add 27 and 7, get 34, but just think of them as being tenths. Here has 7 tenths, this is 27 tenths, and you get 34 tenths. Then you put the decimal point there. Lastly, we will look at a ruler. This is now a zoom in, a magnified view of a normal ruler with centimeters and millimeters. And each centimeter is divided into 10 parts which are millimeters, okay? So these little increments here are millimeters. There's 10 in each centimeter. So therefore, one millimeter is one tenth part of a centimeter, right? One millimeter is a tenth of a centimeter, or 0 0.1 centimeters. Let's work with those a little. I have here 0 0.7 centimeters, or 7 tenths of a centimeter. It would go here all the way here. It is 7 millimeters. Now, 2.5 centimeters. Okay, it would be here. 2 centimeters, and then 0.5 centimeters, or 5 millimeters more. In total, that would be 25 millimeters. Here's an addition problem with lengths. 34 millimeters 
plus 5 tenths of a centimeter. Now 5 tenths of a centimeter is 5 millimeters, so this is 34 plus 5, 39 millimeters. At the same time, if we write this as centimeters, we will get 3 whole centimeters and 9 tenths of a centimeter, 3.9. Here, 1.8 centimeters plus 0 0.8 centimeters. Okay, maybe you want to think in millimeters and think that this is 18 millimeters and this is 8 millimeters, so we get 26 millimeters. But in centimeters it would mean 2 whole centimeters and 6 tenths of a centimeter, 2.6 centimeters. Okay, so we're all done for this lesson.